Yeah, I just walked through the tree hill to look for. Oh, and I, I was looking for Brooke Davis. Hi. How are you? How are you? Welcome to the set of my house. This is your house. Yes. Wow. And now you know there's nothing on the other side of the wall. <laughs> You and I were talking, last time we talked, you said this season we're going to dark places. Yeah. You, you're quoting you now. Yeah. So tease that a little bit for me. What, what Dark places. In Tree Hill, this place is so bright and beautiful. Well, you know, life isn't always sunshiny. Mm. And people deal with hardship and strife and loss and grief. And we've touched on a lot of those things, I think. But we really... We really all have an opportunity to see what it's like this year. Okay. And I think it's, without giving anything away. I know, I know, it's, I know. It's very cool because, mm -hmm. you know, you, you have to spice things up right. for entertainment purposes, whether it's TV or film or whatever. But we really sort of shrink some storylines into that sort of base level of what it means to be human and mm -hmm. what it means to be emotionally affected. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And... And what it is to grow up and encounter more things. Right. The older you get, the more things happen to you right. or exactly. to someone that you know. It, it, so it's, it's more complex. You yeah. Know, it's, it's not just... And, and what you realize, now that you guys are four years ahead, I think a lot, what a lot of people realize when they're not teenagers anymore, that life isn't just about them. No. And everything you do will have repercussions to the people that you love. Speaking of people that have been in your life in the past seasons, um, let me just throw a name out there. Owen. <laughs> <laughs> I like that smile. <laughs> Joe Mango. Joe. We love Joe so much. Yeah. And uh and yeah, it's it's good. You yeah. know, we, we lost Mango last mm -hmm. year because of the strike and he was doing another movie and oh, so man, we had to, you know, write Owen being afraid of the baby and uh -huh. the whole thing and, and it was sad for us and it was sad for him and you know, he's I think he's gonna try to get back in. Oh, good. I don't know if he's yeah. gonna be able to. Uh -huh. We'll, well see. That, that, that you know, we'll, we'll see if he even shows up. I'm uh -huh. hearing he might, but who knows. For the, okay, I'm going to do this again. The Broen fans, Brooke and Owen. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I can try yeah. to do that with you. Chase? Uh, haven't heard from Chase, no? but, you know, always got love for Chase. Yeah, exactly. I, yeah. love, I love my little Coletti. He's a good kid. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And, uh, and he's doing really well in, in his life right now, so that's, that's very exciting. We, we all get to hang out when we're all home in L.A. Let's, let's go into fantasy world and see... Brooke, by the end of the series, how would you like to see her as an independent single woman or happily married? Or give me give me a projection of how you, Sophia, would like to see Brooke. I think Brooke will have put her life and her family together, but I don't think it's going to be in the typical fairy, you know, fairy tale storybook uh -huh. way. Right. It's not that sort of a thing that I see. Right. And who knows, maybe she'll, you know, meet some great new man and fall in love and they'll have a baby or whatever. But I, I really think that Brooke has had to take her entire life apart. And she definitely does that this season. Mm -hmm. She really knocks everything down and has to rebuild block by block. And I think she's going to pull her family in with that, whether mm -hmm. she ends up adopting a baby or ends up fostering another mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. baby like Angie, whatever it may be. I think I think she's going to bring everything in, and I don't think she'll have a typical family, but I think she'll have a really amazing one.